What's up everybody? Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I am going over planner themes. So as you can see, I've already made myself um, a little checklist in my planner. Um, I was not planning to film this video, um, but I thought, you know what, I'm sitting down to do this anyways. Why not just film it um, to have just, I'm, I'm trying to kind of do a little bit of different content on my channel every now and then instead of just the plan with me videos. Especially considering that the Plan With Me videos have lately not been very good and have just been me sitting there complaining about how stressed out I am. So let's go over some planner theme ideas. Now, I will always be more of a functional planner than a decorative one, but I would still like my planner themes to have an actual theme. Um, I want my spreads to have a theme. So I figured that's what we'd go over. And also on YouTube, when I searched this myself, when I was looking for ideas, most of the ones I came across only featured um, ideas for bullet journals and you know you can really use themes could really apply to bullet genius journals or themes but I just thought um, I would go ahead and do this so let's go ahead and get started so the first idea I came up with that I really well some of these I I came up with myself some of I saw um, you know in planning Facebook groups that kind of thing so not all of these are completely original Okay, first one, card games. So I am thinking of doing a spread where like just throughout the spread, I just have stickers of cards or maybe something that I draw. Um, I don't think it's really going to be around a specific card game like, you know, poker or go fish or blackjack or, you know, it's not going to be about a specific card game. It's really more just going to be cards in general. But of course, that's a theme where if you wanted to do a specific card game, that would work great as well. Next one, I'm obsessed with dinosaurs. You will probably see a couple of dinosaur spreads. Um, next one is money. I was unemployed for a while. I was flat broke. I've been sitting around for a week. For weeks, worrying about money to catch up on bills, get back to where I need to. And then, of course, after that, it would be nice to have some money to just spend and have that, that little bit of breathing room. So money has been on the, the brain lately, big time. Um, but I would love, love to, to do a spread that, that's just about money. Um, I just, I, I've got a, a lot of really decorative ideas in my mind that I think would work really well for that. Um, next one is Sleeping Under the Stars. I know a lot of people, if they do a, a spread that's related to stars, um, it's all about the galaxy. Or, you know, you think of stars, they think of, of you know, chasing their dreams and or being a star, that kind of thing. For me, whenever I think of, of stars, I think of sleeping. So I would love to do a very star-oriented spread, but it would be focused on the sleeping aspect. Uh, that being said, I do not have Galaxy on my list, um, but that would be a really fun one to do too. Next one, A Day on the Lake. Um, if, if I have a day that is like just a beautiful day out, that's like my favorite thing to go do, is to just get a raft, Get out to, to the middle or near the middle of a lake, you know, depends on how big the lake is. Um, but just get out on the lake, on my raft, and just relax. Just forget the world. Just feel my little raft bouncing a little bit. Just listen to the wind. Listen to the birds. Maybe even shut my eyes for a little bit. Or just sit there and enjoy the view. It's just, it's peaceful. It's calming. It's it's one of my favorite things to do that's more relaxing. There, there are certainly other things I do. I like to do that are more, you know, engaged and activity oriented. But if I just want to relax and chill, that's like my favorite thing. Next one, rainbow. I feel like rainbow is a pretty common theme. Um, a lot of people like to do the rainbow theme for, for pride months um, or just because they like rainbows or whatever. So I kind of feel like those are just all over the place. I feel like that's probably the, the least unique thing on my list. Um, but I do love a good rainbow spread. Like, it, 
they could turn out so, so well. Um, next one is candy, which can also be very colorful. So that kind of goes hand in hand with rainbow. Uh, next one is seasonal. I do not like doing holiday spreads. I hate them. Um, and I, I don't get why. I just, I guess I feel like, like for a Christmas, like let's say someone's doing their monthly spread for December and it's, and it's this Christmas spread. I love Christmas and a lot of the stickers and the decorations are just so cute, but it's like all that is just focused on one day out of that entire month. So I, to me, that's kind of, I feel the reason I don't really like holiday oriented spreads. Seasonal oriented spreads, I'm okay with, but I really don't do holiday spreads. Um, my next one is Storms. Um, I love a good, nice rainstorm. You know, I, I love that. Um, and I think there's a lot of designs. I'm not very good at drawing. I would like to get more good at drawing. Um, but this is one I have seen a lot of really good stickers for as well that I've got my eyes on for, so I think I could do something pretty creative and fun with a storm spread. Next one is Day at the Office. Um, I have never worked in a cubicle. I've never really worked in an, in an office environment. Um, so I really can't personally relate to this one. Um, I know a lot of people, especially people who work in offices, feel like office life is like over glorified and shouldn't be, uh, which I can completely understand. But in terms of whether or not a layout looks cute, I mean, I think I think there are plenty of, of day at the office type of layouts that look really, really great. Um, but the next one, which I'll probably do several times over, uh, Modern Day Heroes. So I may feature like a particular story. It may be about one person who did something to save somebody else. It may be about, you know, a pilot who, who successfully landed a plane that was about to crash or, you know, things like that. Um, I think it's really important to recognize modern day heroes, to recognize people who step up to the plate in times that are intense and call for someone to step up and be a leader. Um, so I think people deserve recognition for that. And, uh, you know, maybe a layout might not seem like much to do, but I think it's it's good to keep those things in mind. So I'm probably going to do several modern day hero spreads. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave one line for that. But I will probably come back and write a name and then check it off and then add it possibly on the next page. Um, the next one is Lemonade. I have seen a lot of really good Lemonade themes Probably, probably the most fun spreads I've seen have been around or about lemonades. I think those spreads are so cute. Um, so I definitely want to do something like that. Next one is vacation. You know, you could do vacation, you could do travel, you could do things about a specific location. Um, let me get that was actually my next one. So let me write that because vacation can really just just be about it doesn't have to be a specific location just you know the packing the planning all that kind of stuff can be part of your layout but then if you're going to somewhere specific you know go ahead and put down your location and make that about that what your spread is about next one is projects um so if you have a specific project that you're working on that week or that month you know why not make that what your your layout decor is all about. It's a great way to kind of keep your brain focused on what you're supposed to be focusing on. Uh, the next one is frugal living. Um, for this one, I don't really have a whole lot of decorative ideas. Um, I think um, a spread like that would probably include a lot of quotes. Um, around everything else that I need to put on my spread. So I'm not really sure what else I would do in terms of decorating the page, but I think that would be a really fun one to work with. Uh, next one is amusement parks. You 
You know, I used to swear up and down when I was a kid that I would never get tired of roller coasters. Now I'm to the point, like, like I, I there, there's, there's certain ones I really would not want to go on. Um, but amusement park themes, I think, can be really fun. And even if you're not a big roller coaster person, the thing is, like, they have stuff for you to do. There's so many games to play. There's, there's food around every corner. Expensive, like, out of this world expensive food. But, you know, there's food, there's shopping, there, there's just, there's plenty of stuff to go do at amusement parks. So even if you're not about the roller coaster specifically. Um, so because there's so much to do at amusement parks, there's a lot of different things you could do with your layout ideas and with your, your, uh, and with that theme idea. So the next one is plants. I'm probably going to do one that's just kind of plants in general, but I may at some point do a couple spreads that are about a particular type of plant. Um, the next one is Days in History. Now, like I said, kind of like getting back to, to what I said about the seasonal spreads. So I'm not a big fan of taking an entire month and dedicating all of the decoration and the layout and everything to one day out of that month. Um, for weekly spreads, eh, I'm a little more open to it. So when I say days in history, like let's say there was something that happened and there are several days throughout that week where you know, significant things were happening towards that moment in history. That's more the kind of thing what I'm ha what I'm, that's kind of more what I'm referring to when I say a days in history spread. Because if I actually did implement that, that's probably more close to what I would actually do. Um, and next one is sharks. I loved Shark Week. That's perfect for like around July when Shark Week actually happens. I love Shark Week. I definitely feel like it's not what it used to be. Don't get me started on that. Um, but I've, I've always adored sharks. They're such beautiful animals. Next one is Things I've Learned. Now since this is in checklist format, I'm I'm going to, once I actually start going through and checking things off. Um, so for Modern Day Hero Heroes, I'll write a name and, and, and check it off. And then whenever I put Modern Day Heroes again, I'll write a name and then I'll check it off. So for things I've learned, I'll write something down and I'll check it off. So things I've learned can be so, so, so many spreads. Um, You can use it for so many things, you know. Is there something important you learned about time management? Is there a valuable lesson that changed your life um, that you want to kind of add some journaling into your spread for that week? Those kind of things. You, you can get so many spreads just from that one idea. Um, another one would be decade themes. You know, so... Again, if you want to do the past 10 years, then you want to do the 10 years before that, then you want to do the decade before that, you know, so on and so forth. Um, obviously, you can repeat any theme as often as you want to in your planner. Um, but a lot of these more specific ideas that I'm listing, you can do over and over again and just change whoever the subject or whatever the subject is of that theme. So I think that's one of the things that I like about this list. The next one is YouTube Milestones. Um, if there's anything, or for, for those of you who are, are big on TikTok or, or Instagram or whatever, you know, maybe there's some other social media platform that is actually, oops, sorry. I didn't realize I was, I got all, got, down off camera um but anyways so you maybe you'll put social media milestones or maybe there's some other platform that you want to write about um frankly i'd like to cover more milestones before i actually do anything like that um but when i get there and i do those spreads i think it'll be really fun
Um, the next couple are about specific things. So I know this isn't the best thing because I am trying to kind of uh, cut back on soda. But um, I am obsessed with Pepsi Mango. Like, I know that might sound weird. But if you have not tried it, like, give it a shot. If you like Pepsi and you like mango, I'm telling you, try it. It's delicious. But I, I just, you know, the, the logo and the, the colors, like, I just, I, I got ideas. I have ideas for a Pepsi mango theme. Um, the next one that I really like to drink, which might not be quite as bad, I don't know. It's still not really good for you. Um, but Milo Sweet Tea. I am obsessed with Milo Sweet Tea. It is the best bottled sweet tea. Nothing I've tried comes even close. So I think I would just have a lot of fun with that spread. Um, next one is driving. Which this could, in a lot of decorative ideas for that. You know, you would have a little road maybe going throughout your spread. Um, pictures of steering wheels, you know, all kinds of little icon stickers about road signs, those kind of things. Like, I think that would just be really fun. Next one is painting. If you've got paint swash stickers that you use to, like, write, mark down your bills or whatever, that would be perfect thing to implement for that kind of spread. Um, I just think that would be so fun. A lot of ideas for that. Uh, the next one is snow. Snow is so fun. I mean, snow may not be like a really popular one, but it is one that I think um, often turns out pretty well. Um, the next one is crocodiles. I know I'm jumping around. I probably should have put like all the animals together, but I kind of made my list that I'm copying down from like just as things randomly came to my mind. Um, the next one is mental health reminders. So this one for me might include some quotes as well as just like little notes throughout the page um, about things that are good for your mental health. Um, so that one would probably not be too decorative as a lot of these other ideas, um, but still something that I think would be fun to put together. Um, the next one kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I put de-stressing slash relaxing. So make a spread that's about, you know, whatever it is that relaxes you, whatever you do to de-stress. Um, you know, pick whatever that thing is for you and, and then do a layout around that theme. Um, this one kind of goes hand in hand with the YouTube Milestones one, although it's more about the production aspect. So making videos. So from filming and editing to, you know, planning and doing voiceovers and all that kind of stuff. Like there's a lot of aspects to making videos, even when they're short, even for those of you who don't make videos that are very long or very involved. And to me, that's one of the more fun aspects. I really enjoy, obviously for, for my planning channel, I don't really do too much on this channel. I don't do much fancy editing. There, you know, there's nothing too special, but the process of making videos I think is very fun. So I thought that that would be a fun spread to do. Um, the next one is lottery tickets. I think a lot of the themes and stuff for lottery tickets are just really fun and creative and cute. Um, so a, a lottery ticket spread probably would not have a whole bunch of money all over it. That would be better for my money spread. Um, but with lottery tickets, I want to kind of create like little mini lottery tickets throughout the, the spread. That's like, that looks like something you could actually scratch. They're probably going to be hand drawn and I don't hand draw very much. So, I don't know when that's actually going to, I don't know how that's actually going to turn out, but I do have ideas. Um, the next one is cats. I have cats. I love cats. There's a lot of great cat stickers, a lot of great cat spreads out there um, that I think would be really fun. Um, the next one is 
colorful city buildings. Um, I have a few specific sticker books in mind. So I guess that's why I kind of phrased it the way that I did. Um, because really doing any like city architecture or city building spread would obviously work. But if I do a city building spread, I've already got some colorful stickers in mind that I would like to use. Um, the next one is for adults. Um, the next one is bondage. I just, I have so many ideas for that. I don't know. I might not record that one as a plan with me. We'll see. Because <laughs> it just, it kind of depends on, on what I, what I come up with. Because I've got a lot of ideas, but I really haven't narrowed anything down. Um, the next one is colors. I'm going to go ahead and put black for the first one. I think that would be fun. Um, the next one is bears. I love bears. Um, I don't see a whole lot of bear spreads. I feel like with animal spreads, it's sloths and cats are like, and dogs are like the most popular ones. Um, maybe I just haven't looked enough. I don't know. Um, but a bear spread I think would be really, really cute. Um, the next theme is memories. For my first memories themed layout, I've got a few specific memories I'd like to do, but I don't know which one I'm going to do first, so I'm not going to put next to that uh, what my first one will be. Uh, the next one is movies. I think the first... Um, The first movie spread I want to do would be Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I think there's just a lot of ideas that you could that you could do with that. That would be really fun. Um, the next one, and I know this is kind of random. Um, but betting. Blankets, pillows, all that kind of stuff. Like, make your theme just look like a big bed. I don't know. That 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 idea is kind of due to me. So I don't know, you know, in actuality how that's going to turn out. Um, the next one is TV shows. Um, I don't know exactly what my first TV show will be. I've, I've got a few ideas, um, but nothing really decided there just yet. Um, the next one is workout videos. So when I say workout videos, I don't mean just like a regular like fitness spread that's got like, you know, dumbbells all around the border and that kind of thing. Um, I would prefer to do something that's like about like a specific like workout video brand type of thing. I think that would be really fun to come up with a whole theme that's like around who that particular person is or what the kind of overall theme of their videos is, that kind of thing. The next one is horses. I have seen some lovely horses layouts um honestly for hor I'm, I'm really not that into horses I admire them I think they're gorgeous but I really don't have a whole lot of ideas yet just for what I would want to do uh with horses um the next one is farm um a lot of farm layouts that are just really really adorable um next one would be baking I think that one's really really fun. Um, I will probably show you. I have a really cute um, set of bakery stickers in my bullet journal and I will probably sh be showing you guys that at some point because I need to set that up for September. Um, but I've already got all the, all the stickers on there and it's just oh it's so adorable. Um, so baking would be a really fun one. Um, road trip would be great. I am a big fan of road trips. 
um, you know, vacation, you know, having a whole week or two weeks or whatever as a vacation is something you can't really do all the time. But a good road trip, all you really need is a day or two um, to, to, to get a good road trip in. You don't really need quite as much time. So I think it's easier to kind of, of have those um, throughout, to have those kind of throughout the year as you want to. And then the last one is, I don't know what I was, like, I like the idea, but I, I, I just, I really don't know what the execution is going to be like. But I think an adult store theme would be really fun. <laughs> like, I do. I do. I think that would be really fun. Um, I'm going to come up with some ideas for it. I think I'm going to come up with some really fun ideas for that one. So that is what I have. Those are my ideas. This is my checklist. I am going to actually be revisiting this checklist and crossing them off as I go. Um, probably the first one I would actually implement because I don't have a whole lot of themed stickers. So anything I would start now without, because I don't have a lot of money to spend, um, I really have no money to spend right now. So I can't just go buy a bunch of themed stickers right now. So anything I would want to do would have to be drawn. So the first one I actually pick is probably going to be based on what ideas I come up with that I think I could actually incorporate drawing into. So I don't have a whole lot of drawing skills. So we'll see where this goes. I may not actually start checking things off on this list for another couple of weeks because I feel like a lot of them really would need some stickers in order to to be done the way I want them to be done. Um, but this is what I have so far. Um, if you guys have any ideas you'd like to put in the comments, I would love to hear what you think and thank you so much for watching.